So welcome to the first look, the kickoff to this 2019 World Medical Innovation Forum. Breast cancer is the most frequent cancer in women worldwide. The pain, suffering, and financial costs of the global burden of this disease is expanding exponentially. A common problem in the labor and delivery suite, operating room, and ICU is titration of drug infusions. We come together because what, of what is really a collective vision for the power of innovation and specifically AI. Software's fundamental purpose is automation. And AI, therefore, is the automation of automation. Now, I think I, AI has tremendous potential. Everything that we do at CMS, we try to put ourselves in the shoes of the patient. One of the things you'll notice across the board that we're trying to do at the department is unleash our data, not just for us, but for you. I'd love to have the data that they already know about me, that my doctors already know about me, all the various doctors. But I think you're seeing um, the advent of a lot more empowered patients because they have access to information. There are going to be 10, 12 large networks globally. We're going to stop fussing over whether it's this domain or that domain. Instead of asking what can we do with what we've just discovered, to ask what might exist, what could exist, what should exist, and then tie it back to the present. The ideal case of AI is that you don't even realize it. Yeah? So yeah. that it's not, there is no workflow, there is no user interface, it's just happening. The China fundraising um, investment into AI healthcare last year was over a billion dollars. It's really hard to find a bad idea happening relative to technology, uh, AI or not. There are still tens of millions of patients in the United States who are at risk, are probably not being appropriately treated, uh, and so we're hopeful that machine learning can help on that. I think computing power has finally gotten to a point where you now can have real-time sensing and real-time intervention with patients. This year, from my perspective, on the clinical level is even better than last year. Thanks to everyone who's been here the last two days. Status quo is not sustainable, so what we have done is we have created a uh, discharge prediction model. Can we use data-driven machine learning approaches to better match depressed individuals to the optimal treatment? There is a new generation coming up uh, actually running things and, and, yeah. and it gives a different look and feel uh, to how we can actually drive innovation forward. The brain is a process. The body is a process, genes are processes, microbiomes are processes, and these processes are influenced by how we experience life. There's a real possibility, three to five years, we have fundamental improvements to the healthcare system. And so we're increasingly becoming strapped for time, and I think this is where AI can really have a huge impact on our practice. Many of these algorithms are in black boxes. They need to become glass boxes. There is something very special about our humanity that even AI can't replace, and in fact, AI may enable us to leverage that further. Trying to bring that AI technology in front of the physician, yet into their workflow, and that's really been a very, very big challenge. That's why I'm here.